If you have a friend or a loved one who struggles from addiction, then I want to tell you about the Commitment House. Better yet, James Duke is going to tell you about the Commitment House because he is the clinical director. James, first of all, welcome to the show. Thank you. I appreciate you coming on here because this is a lot of really good information. And I got to tell you, without knowing him, I love Dennis Barnett. He is amazing. Yeah, you told me he's amazing. Now, he founded the, the Commitment House, correct, in 2011. Yep. Tell me a little bit about what he started and where it is now. So in 2011, it was a sober living program for men. Uh, and Dennis actually lived in the program. He drove them everywhere. He taught classes. Uh, and it was just a traditional sober living program. And throughout the years, Dennis has evolved that. We got state licensure uh, eventually in 2016. And then we got residency, residency licensure in 2017. Uh, and so we've, we've grown from just doing the sober living to doing the residential piece, the sober living piece, the outpatient piece, full continuum of care for clients to come into us. Yeah, and it, it has grown. It is quite the operation. 50 employees, is that right? Around 50 employees. Yes. And it's for men and women now. And it seems to be very comprehensive. So we're about to watch a video. Before we go to it, yeah. tell me a little bit about Tia, who you will see in the video. Tell me about Tia. Tia is our program manager for our co-ed program. Uh, Tia is, uh, she's given me permission so I can say it, is a former client. She graduated from the Commitment House, uh, and she runs that program uh, for us down there, our co-ed program. So I want you to take a close look at the video you're about to see. This is Tia. As soon as I got in the back of the cop car, I knew we were going towards the jail. And like, I was just looking out the window and I could see like life. I could see like green grass and the sun. And it was actually like a really pretty day, but I was too high to ever pay attention. My name's Tia Salter, I'm 33 years old, and I'm coming up on three years of sobriety. I grew up in Cincinnati, Ohio, in a little town of Price Hill, where it's all street and concrete, and nobody comes and nobody goes. Looking back at my childhood, I survived it. It was um, something that I always look forward to getting out of. When I first started experimenting with drugs and alcohol, I was 13. It was about fitting in and figuring out what other people were doing. I started out with marijuana, alcohol, and then I graduated to coke at like 17 and cocaine. At my lowest point, the only things I could feel was just pitiful, remorse, guilt, shame, um, not even surviving anymore, just completely overtaken by the world. The moment I remember knowing that I could not go on the way that I was living, um, my kids hadn't answered my phone calls in over a year. Um, everything, I would, everything I had would get stolen or I'd stolen it from somebody else. It was just like a weird, sick, twisted world of just not even reality. Um, and I knew that I was going to die that way and nobody would know. Like I would just be like one of those bodies that just go missing. The mission of the Commitment House to change the way people live and think is unlike anything I've ever seen before. I felt an instant connection, just the realness of everybody. They give you the tools that you, you need, number one, to, to let you clear your mind. They gave me a safe place. They believe in you when you, when you don't know that you can believe in yourself. Um, they find out what you need and help you, help you meet your own needs. There's just so many. If I could thank the Commitment House, um, there, there's not enough. There's just not enough thankfulness. There's not enough time. Because the things that I have today are things that I never could have imagined for myself. And they're always there. Today, my life is, is, is just enjoyable. Thank God for all the things that I get to do in my life. Even the hard parts are exciting because they're things that I never thought that I would ever do. And it all started with that commitment. My advice to somebody who's still struggling is just to stop fighting. Stop fighting and let some good things happen. I don't know that I would be who I am or where I am without the Commitment House. James, after watching Tia, now I know why they call it the Commitment House. She, she is committed. Let's talk a little bit about the mission. How do you articulate the mission? So the, the mission of the Commitment House is to provide person-centered treatment, right? So we, we look at the, the individual and what do they need within the structure of our program. 
and the, the the overall goal is to provide the a program that allows people to change the way that they think and change the way that they live and and the vision of what we do is by merging recovery and treatment and that really is what sets us apart from from other places is that there's no conflict between those two things it's about the recovery piece and the treatment piece working together so that's what separates you there you go that's absolutely re recovery and treatment working together to give you the whole person which is now Tia and you said you didn't mind me saying which is now you too James right Absolutely. I've, I've got eight and a half years of sobriety myself. I went through a program very similar uh, to the Commitment House. Uh, and that's another thing that we bring in. Our staff, our employees that work there, all of our frontline employees are in recovery also. So it's not just knowing uh, you know, what to do to help somebody, but it's having been there themselves and yes. knowing what worked and knowing what didn't work and knowing when to push and knowing when to back off. And, and the accountability that comes with that is, is so powerful. Yeah, that kind of experience has real value. So if someone's watching right now and they have a loved one or perhaps they are st mm -hmm. struggling with addiction and they, maybe they've tried other facilities, what, what would you tell them, James? Well, certainly to, to you know, give us a call and, and to, to complete a screening and you know, let us work to get them into, into treatment. You know, everything starts uh, you know, with that treatment, that residential, we've got to get separated. We've got to get our head clear. We've got to get our health, our physical health heading in the right direction. We've got to start to learn these tools. So if, if, if they can call and they can do a screening, uh, that number is 270-900-0373. And they can call and speak with one of, of the people that answer and, and they'll be able to do that screening and we'll be able to work with them from there. If someone's watching who does not have health insurance, can they still get involved? Absolutely. We have an amazing team, uh, both on the front end and the back end, that helps uh, you know, clients come in. If they don't have insurance yet, we help them get, get signed up for insurance. Okay, before we let you go, so step by step, if you would, if someone would like to contact the Commitment House, maybe they want to look at your facilities, talk to you or whoever, what, what's first step here? Yeah, calling that phone number. That's it. They call that number and we can, we can start the process from there. And James, I'm going to ask you to do this. This is totally off script. I can okay. throw, this, throw this away. Sure. But how would you say, how would you articulate how the Commitment House has helped you personally? It provides me with uh, a place where I can go to really fulfill what my purpose is. My purpose is to be a maximum benefit to the people around me. And this gives me a place where I can go every single day and I can have the, the opportunity to, to make change for somebody. And that's not just for me, that's for all of our employees, all of our program managers, all the frontline staff. We provide that, uh, that opportunity for them every day. So this, it, it's not really a job for those of us that come in. It, it's, it's an advocation. We do this with, for passion. We do this because we want to help. I bet you your loved ones love the benefits they've seen in you. Right, James? Mama's very happy. Mom's very happy. <laughs> yeah, well, she's got a great son. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. The Commitment House, once again, if you need their help, please give them a call with or without health insurance. And as you can see, uh, recovery treatment, they cover it all. All right, coming up next here.